I recently made a stand for this joint top planer combination for the Panto Rotor and this bigger stand, more of a cabinet or a workbench for the metal lathe that's going to be sitting on this very soon. All of these stands are supposed to have storage drawers in them and now it's a good time to make all of them at once because actually making drawers takes quite a bit of time. I mean making good drawers, ones that you can abuse and that will last. That takes time. And I know that because a couple years ago I made these 24 drawers all at once and that also took hmm, two or three days. I can't really remember. But anyways, let's get started. This would used to be my sister's bed frame, not any longer, now it's going to be made into drawers. And the finish on it seems to come off fairly easily, so I think I'm okay with just jointing and planing it right away. I jointed both faces of the pieces, which is normally wrong, but after that I reset them on the bandsaw. So after resawing, I have two thinner boards with already one straight face, which then I can just plane to thickness. Also jointing the thinner boards would be more difficult, as they would bend more easily than thicker boards. so therefore I need to glue two of these strips together. I skipped the rest of the milling because it's just cutting pieces to size and I also didn't have enough pieces of bed so for the lathe cabinet drawers I cut up pieces of plywood. Next comes the joinery. Now usually for drawers I use box joints like these or these. But this time I want to try making dovetails. And I'll make them with my pen roller, which came with this dovetail template. And I really didn't have the chance before to use it, but now making drawers, that's a perfect opportunity to try it out. And I've already cut a test joint and this fits perfectly. But that doesn't really help that much because I cut these without a backer piece. Now that I put one on to prevent a little bit of chip outs, that throws off the whole setup and I have to do it again. But I can already cut the tails since their shape is based on the dovetail rod a bit. Got all the tails cut for now, now cutting the pins. Therefore I need to switch the dovetail rod a bit to a straight one. First testing on a off-cut piece. That looks like it won't fit. Yeah, no way. So I need to cut away more material. And therefore I have to lower the template a little bit. Well, still not quite enough, so more adjusting. Now it fits, but it's too loose, so more adjusting. Now oh, that's the fit I'm looking for. I could use the same setup to cut the joints for the taller drawer, while only needing to move the stop block, you know, the red square. I also tried cutting the dovetails for the plywood pieces, but without success because the lathe just separated too easily and everything splintered. So therefore I again cut the box joints. And if you want to see more about that, have a look in the video description.
because the dovetails fit so nicely, the glue up was actually very simple, and also the three small box strand drawers were no problem. But now comes the big one. I got all the clamps ready, so wish me luck. Well, it's together, but it took about 16 minutes. So what do we learn from that? Small box joints in this amount are no good idea. I can set my table saw fence over the blade and use it as a big flush trim saw. Very effective and fast. Next sanding the bottoms before gluing them on. I just need to glue the bottoms on and to save on the clamps I need per drawer, I try to glue two at once. I also won't run into alignment issues because right now the bottoms are quite oversized. That worked well enough, so I tried it with bigger clamps and four drawers at once. Then trimming the bottoms with the saw and a flush trim out of it. For the drawer runners I cut up some strips of plywood that have a black laminate on top and on that the drawers slide really easily. I've had good experience with that in the past. And to mount the runners at the correct position I cut two other pieces to equal length. And the runner can sit on that and I can screw it down like so. And as you can see the top and bottom drawer slide nice and straight, but the middle one has a little bit of slack here and tends to get caught in the back. So to prevent that from happening I glued on a strip of MDF to the side which will guide the drawer straight. These drawers also tip down quite a bit once you open them more than halfway. And to prevent that from happening, I installed these little blocks right here. And with these, the drawers also get almost full extension. For the other drawers, I used full extension drawer slides and installing them is pretty simple and there are good videos on YouTube showing that, so I don't cover that. While the first coat of varnish is drying, I can work on the poles and I really like this style of poles, so I'll make some more of those. From the last time I made drawers, I still have four of these poles left over, but now I need more. And I also still got the profile sample and here's some scrap pieces of ash hardwood. And these are just big enough to cut these profiles from. Making this profile involves quite a few tricky bevel cuts that need to be made in the right order. You should know how the piece and your saw behave with these cuts. For example when the piece is between the fence and under the blade or if the piece tends to tip into the blade near the end of the cut. If you've never done such cuts before I'd recommend trying something simpler at first. Now I'm installing the drawer front and I'm using my card scraper as a shim. I left the drawer fronts oversized and so they don't quite fit yet, but now I can trim them to a perfect fit. For drilling the holes into the fronts for the drawer poles, I clamped a little guide to them and drilled them like so. The dovetails came out quite nice, although not perfect because I only used softwood and got some tear outs on all of them, but nothing that really matters for shop drawers. Setting up the dovetails wasn't really difficult, it just took a little bit of time and test pieces and once everything was set up it went really fast and very accurate. So if you ever make drawers from nicer wood for a project, I'm good to go. The drawers are done and already in use and if you want to see how I make the stands or the cabinets where they are now in, I've linked these three videos down in the video description.
and the runner can sit on that and I can screw it down like so. The dovetails came out quite nice, although they're not perfect because I got a little tear out because I only used spruce. But um, sharpness. Alright, all drawers are done and in use. Already in use. All drawers are done and already in use. And if you want to see how I made the stands or the cabinets where the drawers are now in, I've linked these three the three videos. Uh.